Hi, this is Lance, and I'm going to talk a little bit about Google Forms and the option to grade question by question. This is not an overall tutorial on Google Forms. It's merely just the feature of being able to speed up grading by using question by question features. So I'm going to get started and talk about some of the advantages of it and how to go about doing it. So I have this form that I had already set up. Um, I set the answer key right right now. I'm in edit question and I'm going to go to answer key so that way I can choose the correct answers. I had already done this ahead of time and I had selected the correct answer. As you can see, that one's check marked. If I go to answer key, it's selected. And then where it gets a little tricky is if it is an open response. If it's a short answer, a single answer, you can put in that single answer and then it allows it to be automatically graded. But it has to be a little careful because it has to be exact. So no spelling errors or anything like that. So that makes things tricky. And not only that, but with an open response, if it's a longer paragraph, this will be beneficial as well because then you're able to just focus on that one question one at a time. So let's get started. So here I have some responses. I can see a summary. Uh, typically in the past, you would go through the individual and you would see how they did and you can make the adjustments to the score however you want it. So you could give that partial credit. So if this was like a, a two or three point question, you could adjust that. Not a problem. You've been able to do that for a while now. However, you now also have the option to go question by question to save yourself some time because as you're going through this, yeah, this is auto graded. Yes, this is auto graded. This is too, but maybe I, since it's a short answer, I need to look at it a little more. So because of that, I'm going to use the question feature instead of focusing on just the individual response. So here you can switch your questions. I don't need to do that with my auto multiple choice grading ones. Okay, so it's just two options. This is multiple choice as well. This was my open response. And so I have five responses here that were great with a capital letter and it's checkmarked. It's listed as one point. You can make an adjustment here. As I'm going through here, you can see I had a couple that didn't capitalize. It was counted wrong. So because of that, I can make it right. And I don't even have to go individual by individual. So I can sit there, check mark it. And this one had an exclamation mark. So it was counted wrong. So I can hit the check mark. Not a problem. This one had a sentence. Not a problem. And so I'm just going through these and looking at individual responses focused on one question instead of the entire set of questions. I can focus on one question and look at each response. It's a lot more time efficient. So very beneficial. Yep. Nice answer. I think it'll be good. I can focus on one question at a time. Yep. Very good. I think it will save time so I can quickly grade each item instead of scanning the entire form. Fantastic. Not too bad. I'm hoping I will be able to give better attention to my students' work this way. Excellent answers, but they were all counted wrong in the first place. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. And that was very quick to go through there and check mark off instead of going through every single student response and scrolling down to the bottom and getting to that question, making the decision, scrolling back up and switching to the next student. So if you want to be efficient in your short answer or paragraph grading, use the question feature. Choose which question you're going to go to and analyze all of them. Great accordingly.